could be a thousand places in the world today, but you're here with me, okay? So I can't thank you enough. Let's have a good time today. Let's have fun doing it, okay? Green Bay is in town. We're going to have a lot of out-of-towners here today, okay? Kill them with kindness, kill them with kindness. You know what? If we have to write up an answer report, get MPD involved, whatever we gotta do. My biggest challenges, um, obviously, is early in the morning. So obviously, we have staff coming in as early, early as 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. And, and we just tried to get everybody excited for being here. Media still has to get processed, and obviously other employees in the venue need to get processed and get them in the building, make sure they're safe, and but uh, just find that first wind uh, to get people excited to be here, I would say. Green Bay Packers are in town, okay? Who's worked the Packers game before? You treat these individuals like people. You treat them like people, you treat them respectfully, get them on your side early. When they're coming into the stadium, hey, welcome, thanks for coming across the river. How, where'd you come from? Small talk. What we try to teach our staff is that, you know, we want to make the, the, the guests happy. Oh, we've had uh, a real good core of people that have been here a long time, especially our supervisors. We have about 70 or so, and I would say 40 plus of them have been here since day one. So we have very good, very strong staff and uh, people that get familiar with their areas, guys that run the tunnels, event level. I work in the Skyway. I love the Skyway. I love seeing the same people that come in through the Skyway or at Legacy, Lord Pantera, you get to know the fans, That's which cool. is a lot of fun too. So you get to know the people and, oh, hey, Sean, how are you? Da -da -da. Yeah, thank you for all you do, okay? Thank you. <laughs> no, this thing's been open for five years and I would say we have a solid 200 people or so that have been here since. Like me, I've been here since the day one. I've missed one game my entire time ever working here, and that was because I had a kid the day before. We send out emails prior to the event, get everybody excited to work the event. We had some events going on earlier this week, high school football, so we get everybody excited to come to the game. We know we feed them. Um, we give them all the hand warmers, gloves, hats, mittens, you name it. We got all, you could show up naked and I could put you to post working outside and you'd be just fine because we have, uh, we invest in our people so that they'd be set to be successful. These games are getting cold now. Warming tents are at all of our locations, okay? Take care of our people, okay? If you have an opportunity, shut down two, three mags, let a couple people go or warm up, do that. Make sure your staff is dressed accordingly, okay? Hey, do you have hand warmers? Do you have all the supplies that you need to be set up to be successful? Okay, at the end of the day, we have a very fun job. We get to take care of business. Create a memory today, okay? Make these individuals want to work for you, okay? We'll make them want to keep coming back because come December, it gets a lot tougher to get people in the building come these later games when it's a lot colder. It's not just security, it's so much more than that. Obviously we're here, we get paid to do a specific job, but at the same time, there's ways to, uh, I keep stressing, to create memories to people, is, you know, make them want to come back. Because obviously these people spend a lot of money to be here, but I have a poor experience with others through the security, guest services, air marks, uh, cleaning, whatever it might be. That's on us, because we can fix those things. If we come here with a smile on our face and create a memory, I might come back and spend that couple hundred bucks to come back again. What do I like about this job? I, um, the relationships. I mean, I've been here for over four years and uh, I look at a lot of these team members as family. 
you know, when you uh, build a bond, I mean, we've done everything from Final Fours to Super Bowls to concerts to dirt shows to weddings, proms, you name it, we've done it. I and mean, you create relationships that last a lifetime. And, you know, people move, people leave, you know, but we still stay in touch. Those little things add up and they know that they can call me whatever they might need. So it's a great feeling to know that uh, the bond that we have with our fellow colleagues here. Obviously, I think the relationships are is most important because obviously we bring upwards of 600 people into the venue. If you bring in solid individuals that feel valued and uh, um, want their friends or colleagues from other departments or work, places that might work to come and join the team, just because they have a good experience with someone that they're working with, that's what we're ultimately looking for. For nine years of my life, I worked with um, emotional behavior disordered children at uh, middle schools, um, two different middle schools in Richfield and Ian Prairie. And uh, over those uh, that time span, I learned a lot about how, just how to deal with people. Kids are people. People are gonna do things wrong, people are gonna do things right, and there's consequences for bad behavior. If you're trying to act like this, coming into our venue, there are consequences for those things. Same thing, if you're misbehaving in a classroom, there are consequences for misbehaving in a classroom. So I took those tools that I learned over the years uh, working in education and brought them to working in security. I would have never thought that'd be the life path I would have chosen, but here I am and I, uh, I really couldn't be happier.